Today we're going to look at eyeballing and estimating lines of best fit. And if we review scatter plots, a positive correlation. Looks like we have points going up from left to right, which show a positive correlation. Points on a scatter plot going down from left to right, which show a negative correlation. And if we just have random points either over the entire coordinate plane or just on parts of the coordinate plane, if they just look random, we would say there's no correlation or no relationship. And with scatter plots, we can have a strong correlation or a weak correlation. Like this scatter plot, the points would be really close to a line, and that would show a strong positive correlation. This one also has a positive correlation, but they're much more spread out. It still looks like we have points, the flow from left to right looks like it's going up from left to right. It would still say a positive correlation. That's just an example of a weak positive. They're just more spread out, they're more dispersed. Now, a line of best fit. The line of best fit is an educated guess where a linear equation might fall in a set of data plotted on a scatter plot. And line of best fit is sometimes called a trend line or a regression line. But we're just basically looking for an educated guess about where a linear equation would fall through the data. And to draw our line of best fit, your line should have about half the points above it and about half the points from the scatter plot below it. And you're trying to have the line go through the center of the cloud of points. So for example, if we have this scatter plot, it looks like what kind of correlation do we see? Well, if I look at this from left to right, it looks like the points are flowing down from left to right. It looks like we have a negative correlation. And they're pretty close to the line. So I would hesitate to say that this really looks like a, um, I would say it's a strong negative correlation. So we're saying it's negative because the points are flowing down. And this line has about half the points above, about half below. And it really doesn't matter if it goes through the points or not. Yeah, it's nice if it goes through a bunch of them, but it doesn't have to. Um, it just has to go through the middle of the points and have about half above and half below it. So this one would show a strong negative correlation. What's the y-intercept? Well, where does my line of regression cross the y-axis? Well, the y-axis is, the y is here. It looks like somewhere just about one. Looks like it's crossing the y-intercept near one. And we would say it has a negative slope. Is the correlation strong or weak? Yeah, we said it's pretty close to this, the line, so we're saying that's a strong negative correlation. New scatter plot. Let's look at this one. Do I see a line going up? Do I see a line going down? Or does it look completely random? Well, I see kind of line going up. Now it's much more dispersed. It's more spread out. It's weaker. It's a little harder to predict with, but um, I can say that it would have a line that looks somewhere down here on the left to the right. It's going up from left to right. And look, I have a couple points um, far away above it and one, two, three points further away below it and some really close to the line. So that's a pretty good judge of best fit if we have about half the points above, about half below. And is it going up or down from left to right? Well, it is going up from left to right. So we say it has a positive slope. What's the y-intercept? Looks like this one's crossing a positive one as well. And is this a strong or weak? Well, based on the points being further away from the line, we're going to say that this is a positive correlation, but we're going to say it's a weak positive because they're not really close to the line. They're a little bit more dispersed. Now, where on the line of best fit? Um, if we want to find the slope, let's say we want to find the slope of this line of best fit. So we can take any two points on the line and find the slope. Now, they could be points that are on the scatter plot, or they could just be any two points on the line. It's just when I pick points on the line, I want to pick where I can tell it's definitely crossing um, without dealing with fractions or decimals. I want to tell, like, this is a good point. It looks like it's crossing the lines exactly. I wouldn't want to pick, like, um, this one here because it's, like, in the middle of the line. So I want to get somewhere where I can tell definitely what the ordered pairs are. So if I use one zero 
and one, two, three, four, and one down two, right four down two at four negative two. These are two points on my line of best fit. And then I could take these two points and I could find the actual slope of the line of best fit. I could take these two points and I could put them into the slope formula. I could count rise and run, I could draw the triangle, or I could just use the slope formula. So you guys remember the slope formula, m equals y sub two minus y sub one over x sub two minus x sub one. And we have our two points that we're given from the line of best fit at one zero, four negative two. We can call this first point we come to the x sub one, y sub one. Second point we come to x sub two, y sub two. And then we go to put them in the formula. We take the y sub 2 of negative 2 minus y sub 1 of 0, x sub 2 of 4 minus x sub 1 of 1. So I have negative 2 minus 0 is negative 2, and 4 minus 1 is 3, so my slope is negative 2 thirds. And you can see that negative with the top number, bottom number, or in front of the fraction just not both. So that's negative two-thirds for the slope of our line of best fit. Now, what if we wanted to write an equation for our line of best fit? Well, we have the slope is negative two-thirds, and we need a little bit more information. What is the y-intercept? Well, it looks like it's crossing the y at 1. So we have a y-intercept at 0, 1, or 0 for x, 1 for y. Then we could look at writing the equation in slope-intercept form. In y equals mx plus b, we found the m, the slope, was negative two-thirds, and we found the y-intercept at one. So I could just replace the m with negative two-thirds, and I could replace the b with one. So my equation is y equals negative two-thirds x plus one in slope-intercept form. So I have a y-intercept at 1, and then I could go down 2, right 3, and I'm back on the line. Down 2, right 3, back on the line. So which of these two? We have a scatter plot here with resting heart rates. We have the age in years compared to... Uh, no, this would be like the heart rate compared to age in years. And it looks like the heart rate is decreasing as the age in years increases. So which of these two lines of best fit should we be using? Should we be using the blue one or the green one? Which one's going through the middle of the points and has about half above and half below? What do you guys think? Yes, the blue one is better. This one has about half above, half below. The green one, that was just too high, too many below it. But the blue one, good line of best fit. Is the slope positive or negative? It is negative. It is going down from left to right. And what is the y-intercept? The y-intercept is 80. All right, let's look at a new example for eyeballing and estimating. So from this scatter plot, we can kind of eyeball and estimate a line of best fit, and then we can determine what a reasonable slope would be and what a reasonable y-intercept would be. So I could just draw the y, uh, line of best fit through the flow of the points. Then we could look at which equation represents the line of best fit. Well, my y is cross, I, my y-intercept is right here. So I'm looking for what number would be a reasonable y-intercept. Well, I have positive 1.5, negative 1.5, and positive 1.5. Well, a negative 1.5 for y-intercept would be down here. My line is nowhere near that. So there can be some wiggle room on where exactly I drew my line of best fit, where I crossed the y, but it can't be that far off. It can't be way down here. It could be maybe 1, maybe 2, 1.5, since this is a choice would be the best answer. Then I have to look at my slope. What is my slope doing? From left to right, it is going up, so I have a positive slope. So I know what this one's not the answer because it has a negative y-intercept at 1.5. This one has a negative slope. Well, my line's going up from left to right, so this better be the right answer. It has a positive slope of 3 fourths and a y-intercept of 1.5. Let's try that out. If I start at a point See if I can find a good spot where we cross. 
let's say right here looks like it's crouching. I could go up three, left one, two, three, four, and I'm back on the line. So three fourths looks like a reasonable slope for this line and crossing at 1.5 looks like that's my best answer. So that looks closest to y equals 3 fourths x plus 1.5. And you could find two points on that and use point slope or use other methods to find the exact equation. But we're looking for an estimate on that one. So a y intercept of 1.5 and a slope of 3 fourths seems to fit that fine. And you guys go ahead and pause the video here and try to determine which equation would be the best fit of that best fit line. All right, welcome back. Well, I see a negative slope from left to right. So definitely not going to be three-fifths because that's a positive slope. So I'm down to these two. I have three-fifths and five-thirds, but they're both negative slopes. Where is my y-intercept going to be? Well, it's going to be up here somewhere. Negative three or positive three? Well, negative three would have me crossing way down here. So it's definitely not going to be that one. So the most reasonable answer is it's crossing up here somewhere near three. And let's see, check that slope, see if that makes sense. So negative three fifths, if I start at this point and went down three, right five, I'm back on the line. So that equation seems to be a really good fit for that line of best fit. All right, I hope that gets you guys started with eyeballing and estimating those lines of best fit. Use those eyes to determine the slope, determine the y-intercept. Have a great day.